but God, thank you. And that to me is what each trip has brought to me, is the fact that God has revealed himself in so many ways. Hey everyone, welcome to Sit Down Saturday with Ben here on the Bowden Experience. And the last few weeks I've been talking about, you know, mission trips and you know, how do you raise for them, you know, what is the purpose of mission trips? And those are all great things and I, and I love being able to talk about those with you. But I think a big thing that is something that I think sometimes is not seen or, or maybe even just underestimated in a way is the fact that there are some big things that you learn from these mission trips that you didn't expect. And so I thought today I would give you five things that I didn't expect or was shocked to learn uh, when I went on a mission trip. And so to start those off, I thought, you know what, let's start with number five. And number five is being, being flexible. And it's something that I thought I had a hang of when I went on my first mission trip. I thought I had a hang of it. Uh, but then you realize very quickly that you don't really have a hang of it. And so being flexible in a mission sense is when you're asked to do something, you're doing it. And I know that sounds simple, but it's something that is widely missed, I believe, uh, on the mission field, especially short-term mission trips. Because I think sometimes short-term mission trips, which I'll talk here later on about, is that you think a lot of it, it revolves around what you're there to do, when in reality, you're there to serve. And so. I think that's a big thing that is, uh, I guess, misunderstood is uh, being flexible. So yes, that's number five is being flexible. It's an easy one, but something that you probably never expect. And it's something that I definitely learned through my mission trips. And number four, number four would be, don't think you're there to make it about you. So basically don't make it about you. And it's something that I struggled with deeply the first few years I did mission trips. Uh, when I started in Denver, Colorado, and then what finally as I went to Hungary, early on I struggled with that. I struggled making it about the mission and knowing the why. And I struggled with that. And then instead of that, I tried to make it all about myself. And how am I going to benefit from this? What are the friends I can make? What are the things I can do? What are the places I can be? So I think that's something that we all have to really remember is that we're going to learn things and I learned this. I mean, these are all things I've learned is that don't make it about yourself. And that goes right into number three, which is one of the hardest things that I've learned. Um, and that is the hardest lessons are the ones that humble you. The hardest lessons are the ones that humble you. This is something that I, to this day, really, really, really try to drive into myself um, because sometimes those hard things are sometimes the ones that humble you the most. And this happened on a couple occasions where I've gone to Hungary and I've expected certain things, but I've went through a tough situation before I went on the trip or finances were coming in. And, and through all that, it's humbled me. It's humbled me to the fact that God has used that to then turn that situation into what was it about me to humble me to the point where I go, okay, you know, now it's about you. And so that's something that I, I truly am realizing that it has to be, you know, you have to be able to be humbled when you're on a mission trip. And so then that leads sort of number two as well. And that is realizing the trip changes you. Realizing the trip changes you. And I, I don't mean just, oh, wow, I, I met new friends. I went to a new place. No, I, I mean, God changed me. You went in either very egotistic, you were selfish, you were all about the fame, the glory, and the trip then takes you, like, like it's taken me many times. It's taken me to the point where I had to break down and say, God, I don't understand. But God, thank you. And that to me, is what each trip has brought to me, is the fact that God has revealed himself in so many ways. And so for that, I can only say is thank you to God. And so if you're going on this future mission trip here in a few weeks or a few months or even in a couple years, you have to realize that when you go on this trip, you're not gonna come out the same person. 
Uh, a friend once told me that when you go on a trip, it's like, it's like, if I can use a sports reference, it's like signing with a new team. It's all unknown until you set foot on that court, on that field, or whatever it is. So this trip, don't expect things because it's the unknown. As soon as you step on, God could say, this is what I'm going to use. So that's an encouragement that I've always lived with these last few years as I've gone on these mission trips. And number one, and it's something I talked about last week, and it's something even I've talked about, I believe, a couple videos ago, and that was faith. The biggest thing, if I cannot emphasize this enough, the biggest thing I've learned and something that I probably underestimated was the idea of how much faith I would need on these trips. I'm not talking about just the finances. I'm not just talking about the trip over flying in a plane. I'm talking about when you're there having faith that God is going to use you in a way that is going to glorify his kingdom. Too many times I think we sit back and we try to go, all right, I'm just going to like let it let it fizzle out. I'll, I'll, I'll figure out a, a, pl a way that benefits me. When in reality, we need to have faith that God's going to put us in those situations. And so my dad and I are always looking for opportunities to just meet new people, to share the gospel, to do these certain things, and because that's what we're called to do. And so I, I share these five things to not scare anybody, to not worry anybody, but to honestly challenge us challenge us to go into a field, whether that's your work, whether that's your your school, whether that's a trip, that you are going to use the unknown, the things you might not realize you're going to learn until you get into that situation, to use it to benefit God's kingdom. So as I get ready here in a few weeks to go on a trip again to Hungary, I've realized that the biggest thing is to look at those past trips, the, the past lessons that I've learned in order to glorify God with every move, with every word, with everything that I do. So at the end of the day, all the glory goes to Him. So I guess there's only really one question that I have left to ask. And after these three videos, it's a question I think we all need to consider is what's holding you back? What's holding you back? And so I hope you can ponder on that and to think on that as um, we head into this weekend and as we're going through our next week. Really think about, you know, what are the unknowns that you're going to run into? So... Thank you for joining me on this sit-down Saturday with Ben here at beautiful Cedarville University. And so, thank you, and as always, we'll see you next time. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you've enjoyed that video, why don't you go ahead and click that thumbs up button. That thumbs up button allows me to see that you've enjoyed the video, you've enjoyed the content, and then you might wanna see future videos looking similar to that. And then also, why don't you hit that subscribe button? The subscribe button, you can get to see all different kinds of videos that I get to make and have fun making. And that really helps me build an audience so that way I can keep making videos. And finally, if you would like to follow what's going on in my life, which if you want to, you can. If not, that's totally cool too. But if you would like, and the shirt's falling apart, if you would like to do that, go ahead and go to Instagram and follow me at, at Big Ben underscore six. I'll leave a link in the description as well on the screen here. And also you can follow Facebook, which has a lot of my different travels, different teaching things. And that's at Benjamin Bowden. So you can go ahead and follow that. That will also be in the description and in this video as well. And I hope that maybe, you know, your day was not just a toss up, but it was a day that really was rejuvenated. And hopefully I brought a little bit of joy in this video. So again, we'll see you next time.